today that will last you a lifetime. They must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that key. His master key. Jesus is the one that has that master key. Hello. Hello. You are going to receive a favor today that will last you a lifetime. You must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that key. His master key. Jesus is the one that has that master key. You are going to receive a favor today that will last you a lifetime. You must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that key. His master key. Jesus is the one that has that master key. Hello, everybody. Good. Um, happy New Year to all our viewers around the world. I want to welcome you to the first, uh, I'll call it the second broadcast today because uh, we crossed into today uh, in a very wonderful way as a mark of God's faithfulness. Uh, and I want to welcome all our viewers around the world. Uh, I want to let you know that I celebrate you. Uh, I appreciate all of us that have been joining us every day on this broadcast. Today is a new day. Today is the first day of the month of uh, 2000. Uh, uh, 2021, and if you are alive, whatever you are, is an evidence we have a reason to give thanks to God. If you are listening to me anywhere in the world, it's because God kept you alive. You did not go with 2020. In spite of the pandemic and new wave and new strain, God has kept you. The enemy may have come with new strain, but God has come with new protection, new covering. So I want to say happy, happy, happy new year to every one of us that are watching us around the globe. I want you to know that the Lord has interest in your life and destiny is the reason why he has preserved you. And that is one of the reasons why we are here to give thanks to God, to appreciate him and let him know we are grateful. We are here to thank God. We have not come here to display our expertise. We have come to display his faithfulness. And that is why we are here. And I want to let you know that the Lord has something great for all of you that are listening to this broadcast this um evening and i believe that this time is a serious time of uh should be a time of reflection a time the bible says kings should go to war a time that those that uh, understand the import of their destiny and life they are able to make sense of it this is a period of self-evaluation where you are able to sit down and and, and evaluate yourself and evaluate your journey of life and understand what is important in life. Particularly in this period that many people have died, many has lost their lives. And that should help us to have understanding about importance of your life and to also make sure that you are in touch with the author of life. His name is called Jesus. And that is why I want to invite you into this a wonderful time to let you know that the Lord has something in stock for you this new year. And that is why I'm teaching you today on how to begin the year with God. Uh, how to begin the year with God. How to begin the year with God. And I want to let you know if there's anybody you have to start uh, this new year with, it is knowing how to start uh, the year 
uh, uh, the year with God because <laughs> uh, without understanding the place of God uh, uh, in this year, you are going to see the biggest surprise of your life. Uh, why am I saying so? Because <laughs> the Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, the beginning was God. In the beginning, God. It didn't say in the beginning, car. It said in the beginning, God. It didn't say in the beginning, medication. It said in the beginning, God. It didn't say in the beginning, money. In the beginning, God. It didn't say in the beginning, car. It didn't say in the beginning, house. It didn't say in the beginning, breakthrough. It said in the beginning, God. No, that was before anything at all. God was in the beginning. It's out of him coming out at and everything that came out of it. And that is why you must learn how to put God as the foundation of this year. He said, in the beginning. So this is the first day of this year. That is the beginning of this year. You must learn how to put God in the beginning of your year. If you don't put God in the beginning, if God is not the alpha of this year for you, you are not going to go far. He is the alpha and he is the omega. And I can tell you, if God is not your omega, you aren't going to go any far. How far you will go is how much of God's alpha. God is what? anchors your beginning. You anchor your beginning on God. If you want to see a year that will bring blessing for you, you must learn how to anchor the year on God. In the beginning, God, not your plans. In the beginning, God. In other words, if you are going to start this year uh, uh, well, you must learn how to put God uh, in his proper place in your life, particularly in this wonderful time uh, that we are in. Uh, because this year that we are in is a very wonderful year. And it's going to be because in the beginning, the Bible says God created the heaven and the earth. In the beginning, the word create means something invisible. In the beginning, God created the visible and invisible. So before things become visible, they are created first. God created the heavens and the earth. God is the foundation of everything that you are going to see this year. If God is not the foundation of this year for you, I want to let you know the year is not going to be secure for you. Because no matter what happens, God remains the Alpha and the Omega. You want to start the year right? Start with God. Start with God. Come with God. Let God know, I am handing over this year to you. The Lord said to me, as we are uh, crossing to this new year, he said, and over 2021 to me. And that's what we are busy doing yesterday on the broadcast. He said, and over, and over 2021 to me. And I want to let you know that I have handed not only 2021 to him, I've handed over myself. I've handed over my wife. I have handed over this even brokers you are listening to. I have handed over everything I can think of and it over to him because our life is hid in, in God. It's our life is hid in Christ in God. So I hid myself uh, with God this year because anything that does not have God in his foundation does not have a future. I want to let you know that one. That is why I've come just to share with you in this moment, the fact that let God be the foundation of this year for you. Don't start this year 
with your head. Start this year with God because God declares the end from the beginning. He knows how to begin it. He knows how to start the year. He knows how to start the year. Um, he knows how to start the year in the beginning because God is Alpha and He is the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He declares the end from the beginning. God knows how this year is going to go. And let me let, let me know some, let me learn something. God knows the year before it began. He knows what each month of this year will be. So if you put God in the foundation of this year, you are put it in the right hand of the person that nothing taken by surprise. Last year, January, nobody knew that COVID was coming. But God knows that it was coming. Nothing take God by surprise. So if you hand over your life to God, you have handed over to the person that has the say over tomorrow. A son that I say, when Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When God say yes, nobody can say no. God knows about this year. He knows everything about this year. He knows what is going to happen this year. He knows all the challenges you are going to face this year. If you put your camp with God, if you put God at the foundation, if you start each day in God's presence, if you start each day, read your Bible, if you start which day communicating to God and let God know that you are nothing without him, I want to let you know the only thing that will not fail is only what to put in the hand of God. Bible says, commit thy works into my hand and I will establish your thoughts. Psalm 37, verse 4. He said, verse 5, commit your ways to the Lord, trust him, and he shall bring, he shall trust him also, and he shall bring it to pass, and he shall bring forth your righteousness as the light. You're just like moon day. Commit your ways into the hand of God. God is only committed to what you commit to him. So let God be the foundation of this year for you. And if God is the foundation, if God is the rock, no matter what happens in verse two of the year, the earth was without form and void and darkness upon the face of the deep. Now the Bible says, and the earth was without form and void and darkness upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God was still moving there. Even though that the earth is without form and void, the spirit of God is still moving. Darkness is there. And God said in verse 3, let there be light. Why was there that intervention in verse 3? Because God is in verse 1. Make God the verse 1 of your life. So if any part of your life which is verse two, we have any problem because God is the foundation, no matter the darkness that comes on you in the year, no matter what the devil is up to, God will turn it around for your good. God will turn your chaos into beauty because God is the foundation. Because God is the foundation, that was why darkness did not prevail. God is the light in the midst of darkness because God has been in verse one, that was why, in spite of all the attack of the devil, God still turned it around. God brought a message out of the mess because God was in the foundation. If you put God in the foundation of the year, no matter what challenge that you face in the year, because you have put God in the foundation, you cannot be rooted out. You will prevail. If God is your alpha, God will be your omega. The middle path may be shaky. There may be Red Sea on your way, but because God is in the foundation, it will make a way where there's no way. He is a way maker because he is in the foundation. So I want you where you are right now to consciously say, Lord, I hand over 2021 into your hand. I hand over 
2021 into your hand. Lord, I put you in front of me. Lord, go before me. Because if God must go before you, then you are willing to follow him. Let God, don't depend on your understanding this year. Depend on God. Depend on God. Depend on God's intervention. Now, let's see Isaiah 51. An example of somebody that put God in his foundation was Abraham. Isaiah 51, verse 1 to 3. God said, look unto Abraham. The Bible says, verse 2. Look, it's okay. Verse 1. Listen to me, ye that follow after righteousness. You who seek the Lord. Are you hearing me now? Look unto the rock from which you are healed, and to the hole from the pit which you are dug. Look unto Abraham, your father. Sarah, who bore you? I call him alone. Bless him and increase him. I call Abraham alone. I call Abraham alone. And no support anywhere. No human support. He had a very bad background. I called him alone. What am I saying to you this day? God and you alone is enough. You and God this year is enough. If all you have this year is God, that is enough to make this year count. Abraham had no other alternative. He had God at his background. He had a very bad background, living in his father's house, married. Have you ever seen a man at 70 that married in his father's house? Abraham's background was that bad, but God called him alone. And he followed God alone. And he held on unto God alone until he became a nation until a nation came out of him. The physical Israel you are looking at today, that is a, that came out of Abraham. That is what God makes out of a man with a very wonderful, bad background. So your background is not the reason why you are the back. Yes, your father had nothing, your mother had nothing. You are for a very poor home. They cannot even make ends meet. That does not have anything to do with your destiny. If you hold on to God, see what God made out of Abraham. I called him alone. God is saying, it's an example of somebody that started with God alone. And it became a nation. You and God is enough. All you need in 2021 to deliver his content is to stand with God alone. And that's why you saw the year that we are entering to. Can't you see that this year is not like last year? This year, things are not going to get better. The Bible says in Isaiah 60, from verse 1, Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth. They darkness the people. But the Lord will arise upon you. And his glory shall be seen upon you. And the Gentiles shall come to your light. And they came to the brightness of your rising. What are we saying? Deep darkness is still coming. Things are not going to get better. Can't you see this year? This was not how you entered 2020 last year. We entered 2020 last year with a dance, a celebration. There was crossover in many churches. Many churches, there was dance and celebration. People were rejoicing, were going about their businesses. This time last year, if you notice how 2019 ended over the 2020. 2020, 2019 ended over to 2020 in a good way. Everybody was going about the business. Everybody was traveling. 
church was going on. There was no lockdown. There was no lockdown of businesses. Everything was going on. That was how 2019 ended over to 2020. But see how 2020 is ending over to 2021. It ended over with lockdown. Many churches could not gather. They had to do online services. They could not do crossover services in many nations. Gathering was forbidden. Many nations that entered the year with fireworks, they had to stop them from gathering. You have never seen a year like this. Things are not going to get better. That's why me and you, you need God. <laughs> you need God in this new year. Things are not going to get better. Things are going to get worse. And it's only those that ask God as their shield, only those that follow God, only God that take God serious. They are the one, the Lord will arise over you and his glory shall be seen upon you because the glory of darkness, the glory of light is in the midst of darkness. Bible says thick darkness will be upon the people, but the Lord shall be the glory upon you. It will rise upon you. And that is why you need to start this year with God. Now, I want the good news is this. If you will come with God, no darkness will overcome, overcome you. No gross darkness can overshadow you because God is light. If you come with God, you are camping with light. If you come with God, you are coming with light because God is light. The secret I'm sharing with you is that if you come with God, if you put God first, your life shall be separate. Your life is going to be a testimony. The Lord will turn your chaos into beauty. If you come with God, no matter the darkness that is coming, no matter how from and void the earth is, no matter how terrible things become, you are going to come out of 2021 with beauty. God is the beginning and the foundation. When it becomes your foundation, darkness cannot overcome you. And that is why I want to encourage somebody listening to me today that why must you move with God? Because no matter what comes your way, in spite of darkness, you are going to come out of it. Now, I want to let you know, if you come with God because God knows the year already, he knows how the year will be. That is why you must come with him. The Bible says in Isaiah 46, God knows the end from the beginning. Isaiah 46 from verse 10, declaring the end from the beginning, from the ancient things that had not yet done, saying my cancer will stand. God already knew the end from the beginning. He know how this year will end. Since he knows how this year will end, you do better by just hanging around him. He knows what February will look like. Last year, January, nobody knew something called lockdown. Nobody knew something called coronavirus, even though it started in China. Nobody knew it's going to get to Europe. Nobody knew that by now, 1.5 million will have died from it. Many people did not know what was going to happen. But the God we serve, he knows everything. Nothing take God by surprise. You better start with God this year. Because only in him that you are going to end the year well. If you start with God now, you will end the year well with God. If you don't know the road, what do you do? You hang on with the one that knows the road. God knows the way ahead. And that is why I want to encourage you to hang with God this year. That's my advice for you. The only person that will be able to smile this year are those that know God. Don't take God for granted this year. Take God seriously. Only serious people are going to become glorious people. Without this, without your, your touch, without your seriousness with God, you are not going to go far. 
he said in Isaiah 46, verse 3, listen to me, O house of Jacob, all the inhabitants of the house of Israel, who has been upheld by me from birth, who have been carried from the womb, even to your old age, I am he. To your gray hair, I will carry you. I have made, I will bear. I will carry you and will deliver you. God is the only one that will carry you. If a man carry you, when he's tired, he will drop you. But when God carry you, how can coronavirus carry you? If God carry you, virus can carry you. If God carry you, sickness can carry you. If God carry you, untimely death can carry you. When God carry you, no devil can carry you. That's why a songwriter says, you carry me when others carry their God. Hey. You keep me, Lord, when others keeping their God. Hey, Jesus, you know they take me play. Ah, 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 ah. You know they take me play. Oh. You carry me when all that carry their God. <laughs> you protect me when all that protect their God. <laughs> you care for me when all that care for their God. Ah, Jesus. You know, they take me play. It's only God that can carry you. That carry you from the beginning of this year and will not drop you. But for God to carry you, you have to give yourself to him. You can't carry what God has not given to you. Are, you can't carry what, are, what God cannot carry what has not been given to him. You have to give your day to him. Early when you wake up, your television remote should not be the first thing. Newspaper should not be the first thing. Before you go to your phone, go to the throne. Commit the day to the hand of God. Don't, don't joke with God this year. Whatever God is telling you to do, do it. They are telling you to pay, tithe, pay your tithes. Obey God this year. Take God more serious this year. Better people than you and myself have died this year, last year. If you want God to become your shield and your reward, you have to hang with God. God is your shield. No God, no shield. Genesis 15 verse 1. I am your shield and your reward. So when you are hang with God, you are hanging with shield. Any virus that will infect you must infect God first when your life is hidden God. I want to encourage you, take God serious this year. The world is getting more darker. Only those will like and shine. I remember that God is light. God is not church. God is not Bible. God is not faith. God is not victory. God is light. God is light. <laughs> God is no car. <laughs> God is no wisdom. God is no power. But God is light. So if you have God, you have light. And that is what I want to encourage you this year. Please, spend time with God this year. Read your Bible this year. Know God this year. The Bible said, they that do know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit. Deliberately take time to read your Bible this year. Know more about God this year. Get spend time with God this year. Somebody say, I don't have time for things of God. If you don't have time for God, it's because you don't have value for him. It is only what you don't have value for that you don't have time for. Every man always have time for what he has value for. If God, if you have value for God, you will have time for him. And that is why I want you to, every morning when you wake up, the first thing you want to do is to commit your day to the hand of God. You may not know the person, you may not know about this year, but I know about the person that know this year. 
His name is called Jesus. Commit your day into his hand. Love him. Thank him for saying that day. And commit that day into his hand. Let God become your guide. Let God become your director. Let him become your sat nav. God cannot go in your front and you miss the way. Let God be the foundation of your life this year. Consecrate your life to him. And as you do that, you are going to see a great year. Remember, God minus good is zero. God or good minus God is zero. Anything you are doing that God is not involved, no matter how good it is, is going to end up in zero. Good minus God is equal to zero. Anything you are doing this year that God is not involved in that thing, it will end up as a zero, no matter how good that thing is. I say it again. God, G, good. G, double O, D, minus G, O, D is equal to zero. And no matter how good what you are doing this year is, if God is not involved, it is going to end up in zero. I want to encourage you, commit your day, commit this year, today's foundation, today's the first day. Let God be a priority in your life. Don't let God be, don't let God be a, a, an option. And do the things of God with seriousness. And you will see glorious God in your life. If you do that, this is how to start the year with God. Start and you can begin to say to God, Lord, what do you have for me this year? How do you start? Seek God. Thank him for see a new year. Appreciate him. Let him know you are grateful to be kept alive. And ask him, Lord, what do you have for me this year? Speak to me, Lord. Get a word from God. Seek the face of God. Tell him, Lord, let me hear from you. Holy Spirit, this is a new year. I've never walked this way before. But you know the way forward. Lord, show me what this year is going to be like. Give me a word. Give me a word that can hold on to this year. Lord, give me a word that can hold on to this year. Talk to him. Let him open your ears. Let him talk to you. If you get a word from God this year and stand on that word, it is that word that will change your world. This is how to start the year in a very wonderful way. Ask God to speak to you, either by dream or by vision or by his word. Let God speak to you. Let God give you a word. For us, I was talking to God about that since October. I said, Lord, what do you have for this next year? October. November, it was in December, just two weeks ago, that the Lord sent his angel to tell me what the year will be. He said, it will be a year of release. It will be a year of release. He said, thou shalt declare a release. It is to be a year, every seventh year, there shall be a release. The Lord gave me that word because I was asking him. The Bible says, Jeremiah 3, verse 3. Call upon me and I will show you. Great and mighty are things which you know not. If there is a man to ask, there is a God to show. Show me what the year is going to look like. 2021, I have never been through this kind of like year before. There have never been a year like this that we enter with lockdown. Lord, what do you have for this year? Lord, talk to me. Lord, talk to me. What do you have for this year? 2021, I commit this year into your hand. Lord, be my guide this year. Lord, be my shepherd this year. Lord, I want you to be, go before, because you declare the end from the beginning. What have you declared this year to be? You begin to talk to God that way. That is how to start the year. Talk to him. Tell him to tell you what you can hold on to this year. Tell God to give you a word. I'm telling you now how to start the year well with God. 
tell God to give you a word. Ask him, Lord, this is 2021. You have kept me alive till now. Give me a word I can stand on. Remember, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. God was that word. John 1.1. 1, 1. There is a word God will always give you at the beginning of the year. In the beginning was God. And that word was with God. And God became that word. So there's a word in the beginning. If God gives you a word in the beginning, it is that word that will empower you to finish the year well. Because God will always, the Lord will always stand by his word. So that's how to start the year well. I'm going to talk to you more about that tomorrow. Ask God to speak to you. Let God give you a word that will change your world. Ask him, this is 2021. Thank you for preserving me and my family. Lord, give me a word for this year. The Lord has spoken to me, he said, it's a year of release. Every seventh year, declare release. And he said to me, why I was in his presence, I was even sleeping after I had prayed. He said, hand over 2021 to my hand. And I've handed it over. I handed over 2021 with all of you that are listening to me now. I have handed over everyone that will listen to this broadcast. That God will give you understanding. That God will give you an encounter. You have an encounter with God in the beginning of this year. Put God first. Put God in his place. Don't put God at the back so you don't have dislocation. Put God first in everything you are doing. I have said, any good you do this year that God is not involved, it will end up in a zero. Good minus God is zero. You don't want this year to be zero for you. So therefore, what you do, ask God for a word. Let him speak to you. And if you start the year that way, you are putting God as the foundation of the year. And if God speaks to you, God will stand by his word. I will stop here today. I'll be talking to you, I'll be talking to you more and more as we carry on uh, in the in the in the tomorrow. By eight, I'll be back here to tell you. How do you start the year with God? Starting the year with God, I'll tell you more about that. I'll give you one point today. I'll give you the other point. How to start with God, to start the year well. And we always do something as a ministry every year to be able to lay foundation. We start with 21 day fast. And that is 21 day fast. 21 day prayers, and we we'll, we'll give the Lord our first fruit. Three things pray, fast, and give. And we are starting that journey from, Jan from January 11 to, 20, to 31, 21 days of fasting. 11th of January, I want to encourage you to join us. 11 of January to 31st. We do prayers daily. We do fasting. And we have our first fruit offering to start the year. And as you do that, I have seen too many miracles of what God has done doing that parties. So I want to thank everybody for joining us. Uh, let's pray. And if you are there, you are not born again. You want to say this word after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. I'm a sinner. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood. Today I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving my soul. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So if you are not born again, that's a prayer to pray. Do you start the year by giving your life to Jesus? You can't start the year with God and end up in a zero. Like I said, good. Minus God is equal to zero. 
no matter how good what you want to do this year is, let God be involved. That's an I to know any zero. So I want to thank all of you for joining us. Uh, tomorrow we'll continue on this subject, how to start the year with God in 2021. And I want to appreciate all of you that, are, that have joined us today. I won't be able to go through all the list of all the people that are with us. Thank you for everybody that joined us tonight. I thank you so much. From Brash, uh, my brother, Pastor Shei from Paris. Thank you, sir. Mr. Uh, Charles Teta. Uh, um, I would like to call it. Anne, Anne, Anne Maris, thank you. Deb Mira. Okay, let me go through it. James Cruz, Emmanuel. Uh, Emmanuel Chukuka. Uh, Makumbi, Mulanga, Oliver, Amoni, thank you. Charles, uh, Paul, Abicon, Vincent. Oh, my brother, how are you, sir? Brashegun, Olukoye, thank you, sir, for watching. Uh, Mama Jackie, Ayele, thank you. Uh, M. Carl, Mama Sarah, Joanne. Joseph Becky, I appreciate all of you uh, that are joined and and Mary Texas. Thank you, Eric, Dickness Jane. Thank you for joining us from Ghana. Thank you, uh, Mudupe. Thank you for joining us from Dubai. Thank you, uh, Wada. Thank you. Uh, uh, Minister Celia, thank you very much. Adelus Yola, Gloria from Maryland, thank you. Tokwe Deborah, uh, Pastor Thompson, um, Tokwe Johnson, thank you, sir. Uh, Joy Owe, and Lady Ann Matthews, thank you very much for joining us. I appreciate you. Please know that we are on tomorrow by 8 p.m. And please, I want to share this message and follow me on Facebook. Please follow me so that when I come on, you can get notification. You can join Destiny Church, UK, US. You type it in and join. And I believe quite that, that you will get. You know, when I come on, follow me on Facebook and go to my YouTube page, Destiny Monday TV, and you see this message there. Share it and subscribe. Share it and subscribe. Uh, so that when I come on, you get it. Let's pray. Father, I pray for your people. Help them, Lord, bless them. That we will start with you this year. Help us to stay in your word. Help us to read your word. Help us to know you by your word. Help us to be able to seek you. Give us a heart to seek you. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' name we pray. I pray the blessing of God over you this year. As you have entered this year safe, the Lord will keep you throughout this year. I will fill your desires. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Share this message. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. You are going to receive a favor today that will last you a lifetime. You must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that